Okay, I'm going to show how you overhaul or what's called replace the cartridge in a, a Grunfoss pump. This is UP15. It's missing the label. I'll show you that on another pump. But on this particular installation, all they had to do was turn off the power to the pump. I have some valves that can turn off the water. And then I take a 4 millimeter. Uh, Allen wrench and take these four screws off and then the pump comes off. I was able to lie it on the ground and replace the cartridge and put it back together. So I'm going to take you over to uh, a couple other pumps and show you the actual process because I don't want to uh, have to bleed this of air. This, this pump is in a closed loop recirculation for hot water for a tortoise. There are two types of pumps you encounter. One has a label like this. The other one has a screw in it, but they both come apart in similar fashion. So if you've got a label, you've got to take this label off. And I found you have to pry it off with a razor knife or something to get it started, but it'll pop off and you'll see a, a button like that in there. But both of them come apart the same way and I'll show that. So you take your four millimeter wrench and take off the pump impeller portion from the housing. Again this is a four millimeter wrench. This pump's been apart several times, so it's coming apart a lot easier than it would. So that may or may not be still on your piping system, but this is the actual pump and the impeller. This one's turning pretty good. It was frozen up. I put a little oil on it. But if it continually sticks, like it'll stick if this is in a boiler system and you turn the boiler off for the whole summer and then you go turn it on again in winter it might be stuck and you might just have to pull the pump off and spin the impeller free it up if it gets stuck too many times it's time to change the cartridge now I would call this overhauling this pump but all you're doing is changing the cartridge and Grunfuss calls this portion here the cartridge I'll show you so what you need is a, a little something to tap on the cartridge and this hammer is way too big, but you're going to just tap out this cartridge. So when you buy a replacement cartridge, that's what you get. And uh, I'll show you inside here. This is not the proper tool. Okay. Inside this cartridge is what it looks like. Uh, this is your rotor and it's on a shaft. I think it's a plane bearing in there. And when it's running, there's water that, that can get back in here um, through these little ports here to help cool it, I found. So you might try just pulling this apart, lubricating this, putting it back together. If this is on a potable water system, then I would only lubricate it with some type of um, food safe lubricant. But anyway, when you get the cartridge, you get this whole piece. You just take it, put it back in the pump. Now, if it doesn't go in all the way and uh, it's not seated, don't worry about that because when you put this together and tighten up the screws it will pull this all the way on and fully seat the cartridge so that that's it there's really not a whole lot to it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and post the instructions that I found online that show this process and it also shows a list 
of the type of cartridges based on the type of pump you have. So stay tuned for that.